Hey guys, uh, in this video, I am going to show you how you can share your files between your PC and Mac. Uh, so before you can share your files, uh, one of the requirement is that both your PC and Mac should be connected to the same network. So what it means, uh, this means that your PC and Mac should be connected to the same router or switch. And also, they need to be on the same IP subnet for a successful network connection. So if my Mac is having an IP address of 192.168.1.100 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and it is connected to the gateway IP address of 192.168.1.1 then my PC should also be in the same network which is 192.168.1.x and should ideally be connected to the same gateways. So if I log into my PC, I will open up Network and Sharing Center and I'll click on my Ethernet adapter and I'll click Details and you can see here it is having an IP address of 192.168.1.101 with the same subnet mask which we have on our Mac and it is also connected to the same gateway. Now this is good and this will be an usual setup in most of the home networks. If it is different in your case or if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I will see if I can help you with that. Now there are a couple of things that you need to do on your PC before you start sharing your files from your PC. Uh, the first thing is that you need to disable Windows Firewall. So I'll open up computer and I'll go into control panel and I'll go into Windows Firewall you can see that the Windows Firewall state is on for both my private networks as well as guest or public networks profiles. Now if I want to disable Windows Firewall, I can simply click on turn Windows Firewall on or off and here I have the option to turn off the firewall for both my private network as well as my public network. I'm not going to do this because it's not recommended, instead I'll I'll go back and I'll click on allow an app or feature through Windows Firewall. Now if I scroll down the list, I should be able to see file and print sharing. Now this is not checked, so I'm going to check it and you have two options. The first one is the private and the second one is public. Now in my case, both my Mac and PC are on the same private network, which means they're having they're on the same IP subnet which is 192.168.1.x which is the local subnet I simply need to select the private network which is already selected now if your Mac and PC are not on the same network and let's say one of your computer is on internet then you need to be selecting this option now, if your Mac and PC are on the same network, then it's not recommended that you select the public option as well. So I'll go down and I'll click on OK. Now, next thing that you want to do on your PC is that you set up a set of folders and files to be shared. In my case, I want to share my entire D drive. So I'm going to right click on it, go into properties and I'll click sharing tab. And you can see that the D drive is not shared currently. So I'm going to click on advanced sharing and I'll select this option, share this folder to share my D drive. I am okay with the default share name, but if you want, you can change the name. And you also have an option to limit the number of simultaneous users who can connect to this share. Now I'm going to keep the default value, which is 20. And if you want, you can put a comment for this share. I'm not going to do that. I'll click permissions and by default you can see everyone has uh, read only access. Uh, now if you want to add an additional user, you simply click on add and you type in the name of the user. In my case, it's my name and I'll click check names and I'll click on OK. Once it has been added to the list, you'll get an option to uh, specify the permissions that you want for this user. Uh, I'm going to say allow full control for myself and if you want to remove any user uh, you can simply click on the user and click remove and click OK 
click OK here and click close. Now your D drive has been shared. Now you are good to view these files from your Mac. So, so I'm back to my Mac. Now to access these files from your Mac, you have to go into Finder, click Go and click Connect to Server. For the server address, uh, you need to type either the IP address or the host name in this format smb colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of your PC. In my case, it is 192.168.1.101. You can also give the host name, which works as well. So I'm going to click connect. And you can see the list of shares which are available on your PC. Now click on the share that you want to connect to. In our case, it is D drive and I'll click OK. All right, there you go. You can see all the files under D drive and I can open or modify them. I hope this video has been helpful. So please subscribe to my channel for more videos.